Hello and welcome to another video and today we're going to review the newly released Mini Champs Toro Rosso STR13 Honda. It is a diecast model and uh, it comes in the generic diecast Mini Champs box, the windowed box as you can see. Nothing too special about it, just the regular, regular stuff. So let's have a look at, uh, at what's inside. So here it is, the Toro Rosso STR13 Honda, the beginning of the Honda Red Bull relationship, of course, with their little sister team Toro Rosso. I've chosen to um, buy the number 10 car of Pierre Gasly, Frenchman Pierre Gasly, who had a trying season together with his teammate Brandon Hartley. But uh, Gasly had some um, great results in the beginning of the season, well, especially at Bahrain, of course, where he finished fourth, scoring his first points in his career. And actually, it was the highest placed um, finish for a Honda engine since their comeback in 2015. So I've chosen the number 10 car, as I said, of Pierre Gasly. I don't think it's a race specific car, but let's assume it's from the Bahrain Grand Prix. So, as I said, it's a die cast model, which. Um, normally means it's slightly less detailed but one of the things is also you have the wheels that rotate or roll so you can roll the car around not that you would play with it but um, for a die cast i have to say i'm very pleasantly surprised that it's uh, very uh, detailed most of the models that i buy now are resin either from spark or mini champs but uh, there are some very nice details and nice touches on it um, all around the car it's uh, much better than I uh, initially thought when I saw the pictures I fell in love with it I like the livery of course it's the second year they use this livery uh, now without the shark fin and with the halo of course um, but it looks really good and um, I'll start with the least my least favorite part is actually the front wing as you can see all the cascades are not cut out and uh, the slot gap separators like that plastic blob in the B of bull over there should be like a, an aluminium part and the resin cars models actually have the aluminium part you have the hole in the nose which is kind of cool and then those uh, gills in the front wing support which aren't actually cut out but uh, they look okay the flaps and everything on the wing look okay and then the end plate as well is kind of detailed, it's not the best that I've ever seen, but it's not bad either. Then you have all the aerodynamic appendages like the tooth ridge underneath the cockpit or the nose, which is very detailed and very nice. Those uh, very special camera mountings and then the Mercedes inspired higher trick suspension it's nicely replicated the suspension is quite good a bit plasticky with uh, just splashes of aluminium color on it which uh, looks okay not too bad and you have that little antenna with the uh, scoop coming out and then the suspension again as I said not too bad then the wheels, um, they were quite good. I added some extra detail to it because I'm a nerd. And um, yeah, I always do that. You have the different color wheel nuts on both sides, the green one on the right. And I added the S and Ds for sinistra and destra, or left and right for in Italian. Then the number 10 of Pierre Gasly and all these aero aerodynamic appendages. Then you have that weird belch antenna thing behind the actual antenna or in front of that little antenna on the cockpit as well. And then the uh, very intricate barge boards arrangement with all the gills and cutouts and everything. And then a quite basic um, side pot inlet compared to the other cars, but uh, it's nicely detailed as well. Then the floor is. Uh, very well done actually you have uh, lots of detail on it all the gills are actually cut out uh, I don't know if you can see it on the on the screen but it's uh, beautifully done 
normally they they uh, just shape the gills but they don't actually cut it out so uh, well done mini champs then you have the halo which is uh, very detailed if you compare to uh, my spark review of uh, Charles Leclerc's Sauber you see the wing on top and even the wing underneath here is a uh, it's an actual wing and on the spark it's just a blob of plastic with a black line to make it look like it's a like it's a wing wobble, wobbling all over the place here um, then the uh, helmet is nicely done with the xylon strip shape in it and the wing on the back and then the steering wheel is also very nice it's maybe it's decaled and everything it's maybe a bit squarish shape wise but uh, it looks good and especially those paddles those golden paddles at the back yeah looks pretty nice then the um, seat belts are just decals they're not real seat belts with photo edge parts or plastic seat belts and then you have the part where the halo connects to the um, to the chassis with the driver's name on top as well in this case Pierre Gasly then you have the typical split airbox arrangement that they nicely uh, nicely modeled as well and then the typical Honda bulge in the engine cover where the, the back of the bull is the silver bull and then the rear of the car which is actually pretty good especially for a die cast model I have to say um, the suspension with that uh, iron rod or silver shaped rod is quite okay but then uh, this whole arrangement of uh, the DRS and then that little extra wing looks really good then you even have the um, exhaust there that's shaped around the uh, mountings of the rear suspension and the little monkey seat on top of the uh, of the exhaust they're really nicely nicely modeled and then the gills in the rear wing end plates they're all cut out yeah, which is always very nice and they uh, did a really good job on that one and even the gills on the bottom and then that little slot gap on the side on the insides as well you can see it the different Red Bull branding they did a real nice job on the on the rear of the car and overall actually on the whole car I have to say I'm pretty uh, impressed by Mini Champs it's a bit of a shame that the front wing isn't as detailed as the resin cars but uh, yeah, the rest of the car doesn't. Uh, yeah, is, is not worse, not any worse than the um, than the resin models. It's uh, a lot cheaper as well. I think it's like 50 euro cheaper or even more. So um, yeah, it's pretty significant as well. Uh, and you get lots of detail uh, on the car. It's uh, it's uh, pretty. I'm pretty impressed. I have to say. It's a good model, I'm very happy to have it in my collection. And uh, bravo Mini Champs, you did a real good job on this one. And uh, yeah, huge thumbs up. So here we had a review, I hope you liked it. And I hope to see you soon for the next one. See you guys.